We are going to compare the roars of different dragons seen in Game of Thrones and House of the Dragon, with a little bit of description in between, so as to not be demonetized. Cause you know, I gotta eat, and maybe sometimes take my girl out for dinner, so let's get into it. The first one, Arax. This young juvenile dragon is white in color, and it is one of the quieter dragons in House of the Dragon. It has a very low tone roar that doesn't stretch out for a long time, rather it has it in short bursts, with cackles in between. The next one, Vermax. The green dragon is only heard when it was a juvenile dragon, a small one, in a dragon pit. But yep, it was a sight to see. It has quite a range of vocals, from cackles to screeches, and also sort of a sore stretch out roar. The next one, Cyrax. This noble she dragon has a very clean roar that isn't really very high pitch or low either, but somewhere in between. And her roars resemble that of a mix between a large sized bird and a male African lion in a way. Now we have Caraxes. The blood worm of Prince Daemon was a deformed dragon, and also his roar has the highest pitch of all these dragons from House of the Dragon. He has a dual sound of vibrating roar coupled with a screech and a whistling high pitched sound that comes out in fast regular intervals. Next we have Viserion. This dragon, when it was turned by the Ninth King into an undead dragon, developed a very different type of roar as compared to Drogons or Rhaegals. It is a form of broken cackles and broken high-pitched screeches that makes it sound sinister. Next we have Drogon. The black dragon of Daenerys Targaryen was the biggest among the three, and no doubt has the best sounding roar, in my honest opinion, from both series. The roar sounds really developed and masculine, which feels like a heavy furniture being dragged on the floor made of fiery tiles and lava. Next we have Meles. The Red Queen with a red head and a crown of horns has one of the best sounds from House of the Dragon. Meles is a highly mature female dragon roar with a mix of a low tune roar mix with a high pitch full screech. Dream Fire. This she dragon was seen slightly in the episode of Eamon and the Pink Fury. Her roar sounded like a wholesome, singular low tone, but with a bit of static overlay. Next we have Vermithor. The Bronze Fury has a very mixed low tune sounding roar which is kind of a mix between a raw and bass cackles along with a sort of a low sounding growl. Its growl is of very low frequency and makes him sound like an old dragon which has a lot of pent up energy stored for the next fight. And lastly, Vagar. This is the biggest of the living dragons, and she has a very dinosaurian face with a long snout, but she is very old, and therefore her roar isn't as iconic.
Her roar actually, however, gives off a kind of a lazy feel, kind of like a cow or a bull, like a moo, when she is in rest and has a short low tune roar when excited, as seen in Storm's End of the Baratheons. <laughs> So I hope you have enjoyed watching this video on the dragon roars. Do hit the like button for support and subscribe. But most of all, smash that bell icon for regular updates on new videos here on this channel. Till the next one, take care fam.